What does that mean? Oh, that's the opening shot. Uh -huh. Here, insert Yuma. Because here, this is the Yuma show. Cool. This is the Yuma show. All right. Cool. Cool. No, those are the ones I gave you first, and then I, I, I gave you some other ones. So one blue and one purple. That's what you gave me. See, first we got these ones. Uh huh. And then I traded them for something deeper than this. I might have one. No, I don't. I don't have one. This isn't going to work, right? Not, not that. So now what do we do? Well, it, it, unless we swing it around and go this way. The whole thing is I don't want to put two ramps with gas because of the weight. Right. And if, if I fall in... Oh, no, it, it, the weight doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's fine, but like that's fine. Because now, see, we got the couch. Uh-huh. That's far enough, no? So do you... It's actually a chroma key wall. Usually we just improvise, but we realized we didn't have enough blue, so we had to change it. And so now off we go again to change that. Okay, so we furthered in what we was. Now we, we switched the stage around. Now Bernie's putting up, there's one camera, and there's Bob with another camera. Oh, it's more so I can look at this, but what I want to do is get, take a look at these. Yeah. Okay, Just gone. Four, 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 four. So this we're gonna have camera four, but I still don't see. Just waiting for the staff. I'll have to uh, so check and see if somebody moved that to the church. They fixed the crime one and it always takes the woman to uh, get rid of the crime rooms. Isn't that amazing? So we got the uh, there you go. Right and then yeah, that's one of the little creatures here. Now you see those charts here? They're gonna have to be balanced. And what that means is that all the cameras so all the cameras have the same color. And because sometimes it looks kinda weird, like that timer was blue. And Bernie up here, he is adjusting what he's going to put behind us. Uh, that's going to be behind us at one time or another. And... <coughs> and then we're almost ready to go. we got to put my cross on. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, I see where I'm at. Yes, where I'm at. So I've got the camera problem fixed. You go, and that's what it looks like. When, and it all has to be the same and perfect. That's what's called calibrating the cameras. Balancing. Balancing? What's mm -hmm. the difference between balancing and well, calibrating? Ca calibrate, you calibrate one. Okay. And when you balance, you balance to make sure that all of them are equal to that one you calibrate. Okay. So you have to calibrate all of them, but then you have to balance them between each other. Uh-huh. Okay. So the, so this is done. And here we go, on the air. Video, that's all you're going to see. That is what you're going to see from the angle of the cameras here and nothing else. And when the show is finished, everything behind us, Bernie does in the control room. And then this is what I see, the camera people. Which, uh, and here's that monitor. And then that's what I look at all the time I'm talking. So that's it. Put your ears on. Mach that thing off. Mach that thing off in here. <coughs> That's my famous cough that I get immediately. See? And then Bernie talks to everybody through that and then they can hear what he says. He wants everything from in here, um, everything at all, and uh, video, audio, this, this is what he looks at. The guest, me if I was there, uh, opening shots, then here's the other one, and then he determines what goes on. He determines what goes on that, and that's what, that is, is what you're gonna see uh, on your TV set. Cool. Now this is the part where I check out equipment. Thank you, crew. <laughs> you're welcome. Hey, anytime, Lily. Cool. Now we are back the way we had it. The studio is ready for someone else to tape a show. Just in case you're wondering, we're in here, we in here doing rubber bands. I don't know if that was the end of the clip or if that was just one of those gremlins that we had. Um, I thought I was gonna go home. Did I go home? I don't know if I went home or not. Well, either way. So while all this is going on here, see Bernie does everything in the control room there. I was just sitting here throwing rubber, oops, rubber bands at the crew. They kind of give you an idea um, what it looks like. And uh, sometimes we have a lot of gremlin and sometimes we don't. So I don't want to keep you in suspense any longer. So I guess we're just going to go finish uh, to show you in case you thought this was the end of it, well, it's not. You got a long ways to go here. And so we're just gonna keep going and show you what's next. I think I'm going home at one time or another. Are you tired, Miss Vivian? No, she's not tired. I guess I <laughs> put another rubber band on there. Here we go. I told you I had to go home. So here's the next part of the whole process. I'm back at my house. I have to check and make sure that what we did in the studio came out good. And excuse me. And so we'll have to see how they came out. And then the next thing is to copy all of this onto the tapes that go out. Okay. Now this is the part. Uh, Oh, excuse me, where we copy everything. So I have four tapes here.
this again this one wants to here I better turn it on. Here we go. All right. <coughs> now we make copies for the other stations. on the same channel in order for this to work. So you're looking at at least six tapes to do one hour and they cannot be reused that's why I need so many tapes and that's why I need help uh, with donations and tapes and and things like that there's a problem there we go no problem at all so now all this is going to go onto these for the next phase, to the post office. Well, first we got to pack it up. Okay. Infinitely, but everything else is a fixed pie. And even okay, you Yuma. Income, you still and off the wall. You're dividing that pie up into. And the, the private school tuitions build and build and build as you get to number you know, seven, eight, nine, and it uh, can be overwhelming. In their particular most case, they most of them, I don't have to write out the whole thing because the they've be done this so long. In some cases. So are you suggesting maybe everybody should just have one? That one gets all the attention. Two shows. Yeah. <laughs> Only children okay. I'm talking about some this one is done. Deal with only children. The whole demographic. I'm going to miss in my book, but they get a couple paragraphs, and they should be happy because, despite the stereotypes of, I won't say, you know, with uh, spoils. So I know who's it is. They can work with allowance, but they are actually good news. The nice post office sends me these. Can I get you to turn the TV off for a minute? It's noisy. Background noises. So now my counter here becomes a new interesting. My counter becomes my shipping department, and most of the time they are lined up all like that. This is a stupid box. There you go. <laughs> I like the other ones better. This, see? And here we go. office we go. Can you hand me one of my famous boxes here? Which one would you like? Any one of them. Any one of them? Yeah, see? Normally, um, normally, one on second thought, I'll put it in my favorite, oh, gee. I'll put it in my favorite box. Hmm? Put it in my favorite box here. Voila! So that's what you're going to get in the mail. Cookies or cheesecake? or macaronis and then of course we put the name pack on here and that's if this part is done just go to the post office so it's the post office 
that we're going to end up eventually in the closest post office. Oh, there's horses. The closest post office is three miles from where I live. And the lady gets real excited when I bring her macaroni boxes. Therefore, a minute after 9-11, they wouldn't let me do that. And so the people that get the shows were disappointed because the mailman on their end is always talking about your cheesecake is here, your macaronis are here. And so we had to use regular boxes there for a while. Look at him go away. Post office. Entry. No, no, no. The address is anonymous. Mm -hmm. Okay, where to, where did it go? Nice lady at the post office. And then, all right, time for ice cream. Ready? Okay, we're going to the Cold Stone. Right here. Just wait till you see what they do. Man. It's open for a long time, but we're only going to be here for a few minutes. This is the Cold Stone in Lacey, Washington. Look at all the goodies yeah. here. All kinds of creations. Look at all the goodies here. Peanut butter cup chips. Everything. He just starts from scratch and puts all the goodies on it. There he goes. Look at those goodies. Oh my, we're going to have a good time. This place is packed all the time. Saying 31 flavors was pretty cool. Look at all the stuff here. You can get gift certificates here and everything. That was somebody got a tip. Oh, wow, exciting! One big old smile here. With lots of cherries and berries on top. They do that. They take the ice cream out and whatever you order. That's how they prepare that. Did you want the marshmallow sauce or the marshmallows themselves? I put marshmallows in it. Yeah, 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 come the marshmallows. Did you need to send it to the um, the waffle? Waffle, yeah. Okay. Check this out. So he prepares it fresh. Oh, cool. Even the banana flavor is a real banana. Can you imagine that? Having to make every scoop right on the spot. Ooh, I'm sorry. Is that cool or what? No wonder the strawberries were so thick. Whoa. I bought the now I put it in that big old dish here. Oh, talking about um, ice cream, huh? Right. What flavor was that? I don't know. French vanilla, coconut, banana, and... French vanilla, coconut, banana, and marshmallows. Yes. Can I take a picture? Yes. Yum, yum. Oh, somebody's getting a mud pie. A mud pie. Mochu. Both? No, the other one is his cheesecake fantasy. And yeah, that's my camera crew getting a goodie. We're we together. Oh, that's a little bitty one. It's called Like It. The next. Oh, that's love it. Oh, excuse me. It's 
to love it. The middle size is love it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, love it. Isn't that look like good? Hold it still. Hold it still. Cool. And the next size is gotta have it. This Laura just munching away on her creation. And the neat thing is you tell them what you want. Bingo. And they fix it for you right on the spot. They say it's a wonderful place to work. Because everybody's happy all the time. We came here on a slow uh, we came here on doing a slow period. They are smiling away, my international recorder in America at this time. No castles here. That's modern technology mixed in with human compassion and fun. And here comes the good part. What do you say? Ice cream's good, huh? Mm. Mm. It is so good. <laughs> so good. It's called the Cold Stone in, in, in Olympia, Washington. Actually, it's in Lacey. Isn't it a neat place? Now, I want to tell you something about that. Uh, my son had taken Claudia there, and uh, I was just so excited about the whole thing. I had asked permission to film that, and we did. And then uh, the, the lady that was sitting there uh, with the baby, uh, it's a couple of stories connected with that. She turns out to be a, a screenwriter. And we just, uh, we just released a new edition of my book, and so she's going to do some of the screenwriting for the book. And uh, so that fell into place. And the little boy, uh, I want to make sure I tell it right, but I think his daddy was one of the soldiers that got hurt in uh, Iraq. And uh, well, anyway, so we have, we have new friends there. And um, we just had a marvelous time. We had so much fun at the Cold Stone. It wasn't even funny. And each time you give them a tip, they sing. And I just wanted to give them all my money just so I could get enough footage for the closing. I'm, oh, I'm going to go to this person now. Here we go. Um, well, anyway, I wanted to give them all my money just so they could sing. Uh, they have like 10 or 15 songs. And so we appreciate that they allowed us to, uh, to film that. Now, granted, we don't always go and have ice cream, but we did that time. Uh, some of the friends cook lunch sometimes and they bring it because we do, um, I do have to feed the crew. And then when you watch a television show or something, I would like for you to, play, to pay attention to the closing. Uh, I know um, some of the friends, they hear music and then they turn it on. But what I, what I learned since I've been doing this is I always read the credits, uh, the people that is involved, the places they went, and 
when you get an idea of what I just showed you over the last two year, uh, weeks here, you can see how many people it takes to put anything together. And uh, so if you ever do an interview in a large TV studio, chances are you have one person doing one thing, another person doing the other. But since we all have volunteers here, that doesn't happen, so it's always just a few of us. Uh, in order to volunteer, to help me, you would have to take classes at um, the station here, which is CCTV. I think at this time the classes are still free, and then you get uh, certified in at which time you can come and help me in the studio. Now, you don't have to be certified uh, to come help me at home, go to the airport for me, help pick up clothes, or things like that. And again, I really need to uh, thank the people that is making this possible, you know, the, the food and the clothes and the tapes and, and some of my sponsors are, are, what should I use a different word? I don't have a different word. Uh, people that are willing to help out. Uh, some of them have been there since the very first day and, you, you know, and that's how we do that. And then I need to acknowledge my crew here, which is uh, today is Vivian. We had mostly inserts, so we didn't need a, a large crew. And then Bernie, he's been with me since the very first show, uh, which was in December of 1998. And so we do this all the time, and like I was telling you last week, it's only possible with your help, uh, stop me on the street, um, uh, give me your stories. I uh, made a, another new friend here recently, and uh, because I do talk to you on the telephone, uh, uh, he was a gentleman, well, he is a gentleman that was at the Olympia train station when the train derailed. And I didn't even know that that had happened. So if we get lucky, maybe one day he'll, he'll tell us the story. And each one of you has a story. And um, it's not relevant whether I'm sitting on the stage or whether I'm in the picture. I have a very definite idea of how I would like to relay a message to you and what I would like to... Uh, show you in the, the places I take you. And so we really appreciate your support. And it just takes a multitude of friends and people. Now in some areas you don't have cable television. If, if you take a vote on it, um, we do wonderful things at public access TV station. Uh, some of the shows, um, several of the shows actually are accessible on my webpage, uh, Modern Mysteries. TV and uh, the audio portion of it. And as we get bigger and more experienced and have more help, we can, we can um, put the, the shows on the web page.